You have get out and you have hit. One has a message, the other one scares the bejeebies out of you. Although I know plenty of people who went into it and just laughed from the beginning to the end. Not in a pejorative way, but they went along for the ride. So I think there'll always be a market for rides, um, just like in action films. Um, but I think we'd like, to, we'd like to believe that we're looking for something else inside the film. Uh, the first film that we came out with was a, a film called Starleaf. And it had to do uh, with uh, aliens, horror, and marijuana. Okay, um, but what really attracted us was the fact that it had some serious undertones and undercomments about post-traumatic stress syndrome for people coming back from the war. Now, is it front and center in the film? No, but at every time that one won on the festival circuit, by the way, um, and for a, a short period of time, and. What we did at these uh, festivals, what they, we had a panel of doctors who talked about post-traumatic stress syndrome. And it brought an added um, depth and resonance mm -hmm. to the film. And I think it holds up really well. It was a micro-budget film. Um, I think that's what we're sort of looking for, although we'll look at everything. We'd like to find, not the next get out, but something that has some meaning, mm -hmm. something that has some resonance. We're, we're always on the hunt for that thing that has, and I think this is what the market is looking for as well. They, you know, finely crafted, terrific characters, but something that touches a universal truth in some way, which is I think why Get Out, you know, really resonated with people because it really talked about this idea of, you know, race relations and, and, and what is this, you know, where, where do we stand in the world in terms of what is apparent prejudice versus what's real prejudice. And all those kind of undercurrents that were in the film. When you look at the stuff that we're looking at, um, the more that we can come and bring something of value to an audience without, without their knowing, basically, I think it improves the experience for the audience. So we're, we're about, uh, in our, we have kind of a, our proprietary system for evaluating scripts, and one of the things we have is, is we have justice as a, as a moniker, a level that we have to reach. And it talks about, you know, is there something that you feel at the end of this film that something has been achieved. It doesn't mean that the hero wins, it doesn't mean that the bad guy, you know, loses, it, but what it does mean is that there is something that has been brought up, discussed, and there is a sense of righteousness in the film that you go, okay, I get that and I can relate to it. And that's kind of what we're looking for, um, to elevate the film. That doesn't mean that we don't enjoy other films. We One of the ones that we're going to be producing is a film about uh, irradiated bed bugs. And uh, I guess the social significance is that bed bugs are bad. Yeah. Um, but there's no social issue other than that in the film. But it's a fun ride. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to actually take a slightly different. Uh, okay. Because it, one of the things that it talks about, and it's very, it's you know, just kind of thrown out there. But the reason that these ah, bed bugs exist have to do with uh, irradi yep. radiation. So anytime, you know, when you go back to the 50s and look at yeah. the films that came out where they had The them, Atomic Age films. Yeah, yeah. Them, the 50 foot, attacked the 50 foot women, all these people that were radiated and, you know, suddenly, they were, I think that of the Lepus movie. You know, whatever it was, that they had all these films. And part of it was this commentary on the idea of, you know, what, what are we doing with nuclear power? What are we doing with these sort of, you know, risky... Uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of changes in the world are we, are we putting out there because we're taking chances? So it's real. When I say it's subtle, I'm, I can't... You, well, it's, it's there, there, but it's... Subtle. I overlooked it, so it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, so it's subtle and it's our film. Yeah. Um, but, but he's absolutely right. Um, it's, it's a fun ride. It's, I sometimes describe it as a retro film. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it has to do with present day and certain things, and these bugs came from a place um, that happened recently. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, hopefully not in real life. But, um, but we don't know. within the confines could, of the film. People do, and this is one of the things that interested us, and again, this goes back to this idea of mitigating risk and being able to touch an audience, because in order to bring an audience in, there's so much noise that you have to filter out. But you have to have something that, that captures an audience and brings them into a theater or brings them onto Netflix or Amazon. When you're one of 8,000 titles, you know, what do you do to stand up? And one of the things that this has is it adds something where universally, if we say to someone, Bed bugs, they go, mm, you know, they have a they have a, a visceral knee jerk reaction to it, mm -hmm. and that means that it's universal. That nobody goes, oh, I love you know, bed bugs, gotta lay along. Yeah. <laughs>